Hey, it's Mike Joseph here with Visual Media Marketing. Just want to shoot you a quick video going over a few different ways you can differentiate yourself um, from other barbers and shop owners, especially in a time like this, right? It, it's obvious a lot of people are afraid. The state has shut a lot of us down and a lot of people are, are scared. I mean, we can't operate for at least another two or three weeks, some even more. So a lot of people don't know what to do. And what, I'm, what I've noticed is a lot of shops have pretty much stopped all marketing and advertising and a lot of shops just aren't doing anything right it's it's like it's just like if you went to the instagram it's like they just uh, the, the last post is hey we're, we're closed and then that's it and it's it's almost like they're closed for good and i feel like a lot of shop owners and a lot of barbers it's like you know this is temporary right like this isn't gonna last forever and and i feel like this is the perfect opportunity for anybody, anybody who wants to separate themselves from, from all the shops in their area to stand out. And, and you do that through just putting out content, right? Like, think about it like this. Everyone is being told to stay home. And, and you know, people aren't, they can't go out to work. And you know, all they can do is just stay home. So everybody's in consumption mode. They're binging YouTube videos. They're spending hours and hours on Facebook and Instagram because they have nothing else to do. And if anything, why wouldn't you want to be on a platform? Why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want to be active on a platform where everybody is spending their attention, especially now? Like social media activity hasn't been as high as it is now in, in forever. Like I I can't remember the last time we've had this many users this you know, this active on Facebook, Instagram, and all these other platforms. So you you, you got you, you can't stop posting. You can't stop sharing content. You can't stop your marketing or your advertising because this is all temporary. Right. If you're telling me you'd rather sit and do nothing rather than act now, market yourself now and position yourself for success for when your shop reopens. Like that doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you do nothing when everyone's everyone's consuming? This is the time to produce. So I, I guess. Right. The next question would be is, OK, I know I should be sharing content. I know I should be marketing or advertising. What what, what should I be sharing because my shop's not open? Um and and it comes down to a couple of different things you can be doing, right? You could repurpose some of your older content. Um, you could reuse some of your older photos or videos. That's one thing, right? The easiest one. Um, number two, I would say create uh, socially conscious uh, content. And what I mean by that is talk about what's going on today. Talk about social distancing. Talk about how different ways to stop spreading the virus. Talk about hygiene tips, right? You can you can go to sites like Canva.com, right? www.canva.com and create easy graph. You, you can create infographs and create different graphic designs with with around, with your logo and and share it on Instagram and Facebook, right? It's just another way to stay relevant. Um, the third way, and this is what I I mean, if you've seen any of my other videos, or even if you got in a call with me or something, I've always talked about this is sharing uh, value-based content. And with value-based content, it's pretty much like answering a frequently asked question, right? That's the easiest way to put it. Think of it like this, right? If value, if you're giving value to your, to your customer and it could be in a, a couple of different ways, like, hey, these are the best foods for to strengthen your hair. This is the best diet to be on to prevent balding. This is the these are the best hair you know these are the best hairstyles to have over the summer or um this is how you get waves or this is how you take care of a beard like frequently asked questions that you guys get in the shop i'm sure as hell that a lot of people say hey what's the best gel or oil i should get for my beard right just talk about this thing about all the times you're at the shop and any frequently asked question that you ever had make a video about it it doesn't have to be long it could be 30 seconds it could be a minute just talk about it because if if you're not talking about what you do it it's you're pretty much wasting like you guys have so much experience right so much experience in what you guys do and you guys got to showcase that because that's what's going to separate you from everybody else people are going to then look at you guys as the expert so and and that's how you you differentiate yourself because if you don't you're literally if you are just like every other barbershop or you're like every other barber in your city or your town people are just going to compare you guys based on price and if they're comparing you based on price, it's literally a race to the bottom. And that's no sustainable way to, to run a business. No sustainable way. So, again, guys, um, I just wanted to share this video just because I've seen a lot of people freeze and not do anything. Especially in a time like this when doing something is way better than doing nothing. Like, 
it, 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 people that are sitting on their hands right now, it, you're, it's going to be very hard for you to pick back up once this all blows over. But for those that are sharing content, that are still running ads, and this is the thing, you can run ads at like $2 a day, $3 a day on Facebook and Instagram. So the fact that you can do that and reach thousands of people is, is mind-boggling where, you know, you can either do that or you can do nothing. Like, people who are choosing to do nothing, I mean, it just, it, it's, it, it shows, it's, that's a clear indication of where you, where your business is going to end up once all this blows over. Because, believe me, it's going to be very hard for everybody to pick back up, whether it's in two or three weeks or if it's a month or two from now. The shops and barbers that are doing absolutely nothing to grow their brand, to grow their customer base, or to grow their audience, it's going to be a rude awakening once we're allowed to open up our shops again. So I just wanted to to let you guys know and say, hey, this is what you guys got to do, because uh, I see what I'm seeing is it's it's unbelievable how many people just stopped because they were told they couldn't open for like another two or three weeks. It, it's mind boggling. So again, guys, invest in your brands, invest in yourselves. Um, I'm sharing this video inside of our, our my Facebook group, so everyone in my group is definitely seeing this video in Barber's Hangout. If you're not a member of the group, it's a free Facebook group. We, we do videos like this all the time. We go over different strategies, um, how to grow your barbershop online, um, using Facebook, Instagram, um, different ads and social media marketing. Like We talk a lot about that and, and how to bring customers back and all different strategies and, and whatnot to... to grow your, your shop so if you're interested in, in learning more just go to facebook.com uh, forward slash groups forward slash barbers hangout and there you'll be able to see a lot more content like this all right guys see you on the next video take care bye